Hi all and welcome to another video. This week we will be restoring this beautiful mid-century sideboard for a customer of mine. We will be taking it back to its original beauty. Let's get it off on the workbench. Alright, let's have a closer look at this. Top doesn't look in too bad a condition. There are a few light scratches but that should come off when we take the finish off. On this side there is a bit of a crack there. Take a look at that. Doors and drawers don't appear in too bad a shape. And all the legs seem okay. So apart from the usual wear and tear, we should be good to go. Right, we've got a bit of a problem straight away. I don't know if you can see that, but I can only get to that one. Let's see if it focus one screw. There. Never worked on these hinges before. And there's another screw under there. Try and focus it in. But I can't get to. Down the bottom I can quite easily. But not the top one. So we can get the light in there. There's a screw right there, see? There it is. Um, a bit stumped. I'm going to get this door off. Can't take the hinges off from there because there's no screw. It looks like. And they might have to stay on, which is a bit of a pain. Hmm. Anyway. Any ideas? Hello. Yeah, let's get the rest of the bits off. Yeah. Not sure if the customer wants to keep these handles. Might need to let me know. They've got to come up anyway. It's a solid wood. Hope it does keep them. Looks like beach. Yeah, this top drawer has this decorative bit of beach across the front here. I'm hoping it's just screwed on. Let's see if we can get it off. That's good. That should make that easier to strip and refinish. Just spotted this on that drawer we're just looking at. A bit of a crack here. Alright, okay, let's see if we can get these legs off. Let's see if we can on this one. Apart from those doors, not a bad start. Everything's been stripped down. As I said, can't get the doors off, so we'll have to work with Emston on it. Let's see how difficult it is to get this finish off. I've done a little test in the corner here. Looks like methylated spirit should take the finish off. So. 
Let's see if we can get the rest of it off. Here's the top after that stripping. A few little spots left. Just come up with sanding. We'll try some paint strip on this side, see if it works any better. Seem to be bubbling up already. Should have started using this. We've got a speck down this side on the edge. We'll get some glue in there and clamp it up. Alright, I think I've got most of the finish off, all that I can anyway. Just scraping and stripping. Ooh, like that. Um, next job, my favourite job. Sanding, yay! You need to be a little bit careful as this top is a veneer, so are the draw fronts. So I'll be hand sanding most of them. You can just see on this corner where it's worn away. Just see the video there. Sand it up to 150. Now I'm going to raise the grain and do it up to 180 and 120. Now we've sanded it all the way up to 220. It's actually looking really nice. You can see that. Now what the rest of the tricky bits and the drawers and the legs and the handles. Hello, future me here. I've had a load of this old reclaimed teak flooring lying around for ages and I'm not sure exactly what to do with it. So I thought I'd ask you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas and I'll make a video on it. It'd be good to get back into some woodworking so this might be a good chance. Anyway, back to old, younger, past me, sanding.
Many hours later. Nearly done with the sanding. Carpet is sanded all the way up to 220. Looking good. So the drawers. Last few bits to do. Handle. And the legs. I thought these might be a beach and it's just stained to match, but they're actually solid teak. That'll save some colour matching later on, but uh, last few bits of sand now. And we can move on to staining. Everything's been sanded up to 220. Drawers, got legs, door handles. Just wiped it all down with white spirit. That's what you can see on top there. Wait for that to dry. And it'll be time to stain. We'll be using Fiddy's Walnut Stain. Find it with some steel wool and a clean rag to clean it off. The stain has dried overnight, looking good. That's all the bits. Now it's time to apply some finish. What I'm going to use on this one is that later, first of all, some Osmo.
this drawer's got a bit of a crack split down there so I'm gonna glue that one up First coat of finish is on, looking good. This drawer is just gluing up. There's a split in the back there. The legs. Well, I can't do nothing now until this is cured and I can put the second coat on. I'll see you in a bit. One day later. Off camera, I've given this another coat of Osmo. And now we're going to apply some wax. Not used this before. This is Renaissance wax. It's supposed to be really good. Right, we're very nearly done, as you just saw, reattached all the handles, put some Howard's feeding wax inside the drawers and the doors, last job, reattach the feet, put the drawers back in, and we're done. That we're done. This has come up so nice. I love it. I hope my customer does as well. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Beauty shots to follow. Thanks.